everybody. Sign Prince. This is another redemption video. And I want to make it clear that uh, what I get from people watching people redeem themselves is you know, you give me encouragement to go on, you know. Don't forget I'm screwed up over here, okay? I got no money, no transportation, you know. I have nobody teach me anything. I have to learn from Google and YouTube. And my spiritual benefactor, there's nobody here patting me on the back, you know. There's no love here from me. There's no caring here from me from nobody, you know. So... Imagine doing what I'm doing, you know, under those circumstances. It's not easy. All right. It's not easy. It's, it's not easy, everybody. No. It gets very discouraging, you know. A lot of days I say, what am I doing this for? I'm not making any money. There's controlled opposition people out there making money, all right? I'm not making any money. There's people that are, you know, you can tell when you look at the people, they're holograms. And there's fake background, okay? They're not sitting in their house making videos, you understand? They're wherever they are. But they're... Things are not as, as they seem, you know. Some of these people, they could be on spaceships. They could be on another planet. They could be underground city. They could be in a bunker. You know, they could be anywhere. They could be in another frequency. They could be anywhere. Anywhere. Anywhere at all. We don't know. We don't know. All right, so let's move on. Well, okay, this is a redemption. All right. I promised everyone would have an avenue of redemption before that. You know. Now, these are reasonable avenues of redemption. You understand? Remember what I said. It's, a, it's our human nature that only takes a few good acts of redemption and people will forget what you did. Okay, don't forget the population is not aware of a lot of things that people did. They're not even aware of what you've done. They might never become aware of what you've done. Just like the world might never become aware of me. The only people aware of me are media, uh, Hollywood, celebrities, my stars, um, politicians, uh, the Middle Eastern people, they're all aware of me. Native American people aware of me. But the rest of the people, you know, they're not aware of me. You know, they're not aware of me. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, all right, so the police, you know what you know what I expect of you. Okay, I'm not gonna say it again. I take the prisoners out, blah blah blah. You know what I expect from you. Okay. You know what the consequence is gonna be if you don't do what I ask. I don't expect you to publicize it. I expect you to keep it quiet. You know. Okay, if you're nervous about the prisoners having guns and all that, it's simple. You got you make two ranges. Ten spots over here, a range with ten spots over here, a range with ten spots over here. So they're not all together, the prisoners. You understand? Okay, so you call them from their tiller. And you're gonna be in a compound. You're gonna you have guard towers, spotlights, whatever. It's for their own protection, all right? Yes, dangerous individual. Yes. So they should be, you know, don't be stupid about it. No. But we're human beings too, you know. We need to be treated not like animals, you know. So it's simple. You call. Okay, trailer one through five. If the trailers are big enough to put two guys in there, well, each got to get a TV, a cable TV, and basketball courts, and Volleyball, you know, you got to give them something to do, okay? 
And they're going to get weed and conjugal visits or company. You got to pay for the girls, okay? These guys don't have knocking. You're gonna, they're not going to be able to go out and look for dates and all that. They're going to be kept in the compound. There's no, there's, there's no going back to jail. They either do what you tell them to do or, you know, that's it, you know. There's no going home. There's no going back to jail. You go there and you train to be fighting force. If everything seems okay, then I'll release them. If, but, you know, we got to see. There's no such thing as concrete future. Got to see what happens. We know what's expected to happen, you know. Okay. So you call them. Trailer one through five. Go to the range. Go to range one. So you got 10 guys go to range one. Okay, you got the guns there. You're staying there with guns too. So you got your guns and you're watching them. There's your guns, there's your ammunition. Go to your spot and, and then tell them whatever you're training them to do. Then uh, trailer five through 10, go to range two. Boom, 10 more guys go over here to this range. Don't keep them all together. You gotta separate them, all right? If they try to shoot you, then shoot them. I mean, what the fuck? Do we, just, no, we don't have time to play Tilly Winks. They gotta, we're gonna have it way better than the regular people. Okay, they're gonna have a, a, a separate power source. And when the power goes off, they're still gonna have power. Okay, you're gonna hook up the water. You're gonna give them filter water, not poison water. Filter water that comes from the, you gotta either keep it in, fill up water trucks or connect it to the, um, the fire hydrant lines, okay? Because that's where all the, the emergency people, they're going to get their water from the fire hydrants. This their little plant. They're already doing that. They, and farmer fields where they go around and look. You see the farmer fields where they're building little huts and everything. And they're doing all this shit. Because that's where they're going to get the water from. Of course, the regular Joe slave, he don't even notice what's going on. But whatever. It doesn't matter. All right? So... You can't expect to be getting water from the regular water. It's going to get shut off. The pipes are going to break, whatever. But, you know, you should fill up water trucks. Or you got to get it from the fire hydrant, you know, lines. Or something of this nature. Or a main line. or So the prisoner is still going to have electricity. When all the electricity goes off and all the regular people have no electricity, the prisoner is still going to have electricity. When all the water gets shut off on the people... The prisoner is still going to have water. When all the stores get burnt down, looted, and burnt to the ground, the prisoner is still going to have water, uh, food. They're still going to have, you know, conjugal company, and they're still going to have weed. You know, weed. I don't care about alcohol, but you, you can't have alcohol freely flowing through the camp. No. And people go crazy. No, it's, it's going to cause too much chaos. You want to have a cantina? They have a chip. You go there and get a few beers every day, whatever. A couple of drinks. Something like that. But you no, know, you're not going to fucking have cake. People get all fucked up. No, forget it. It's, people will be too much fights, too much chaos. All right? So you know what I expect of you. Now, what do we got? Well, I already told you. Stop bringing the people to the fake health place. I told you already. I'm going to find out you're still bringing the people there because the, I know who runs the fucking places. I created the fucking places. Who do you think created those places? Me. Long time ago where I, I didn't create, the, they probably, you know, they took my, well, I showed them how to do it and then they fucking probably went and made a whole bunch. But yeah, I'm Anubis and I'm famous for creating vortexes or cloth or whatever. That's me. I'm the vortex master. You know, now I don't know how to do it. I forgot, but in other lifetimes or whatever, yeah. I was good at it. You know. So they took that wisdom that I... Because you, you can pull electricity right out of the air. So they use electricity in the air, you know, like they make this... the They uh, stimulate the ions. That's how why you feel heat from the sun. Because the sun's not real. It's just uh, whatever it is, but... That's why you feel heat because they use installations to stimulate the air. So you can do the same thing like to create the vortexes, you know. All right, so 
Well, that's a, that's another thing too. That if those ionic installations got shut down, well, first of all, we'd freeze to death, so you really don't want to do that. If those installations got shut down or they get destroyed in any way, uh, we're all gonna freeze to death. Like, remember the movie? Uh, the day after when the the wall of frost came, that's because the ionic uh, installations got shut off. That's what's gonna happen in instant ice age, overnight. Okay, so that's it. Okay, you're done, police. Okay, now, what else you got? Well, you got, I told you, don't bring the people to the fake health place no more. Let those people out. And I don't care if they're gang stalker people, whatever. Just let them go. Fuck it. I let them go. It's not right. I don't feel about right about the people being held in there. And then, then they hold that threat over them and they make them sell crack and gang stalk people. It's just, it's a disgrace. Disgrace. That's the problem. You got these people running around gang stalking people. Look what they did to me. Why, why? How do they get the people to do it? Well, they fucking arrest them and bring them there and tell them, well, if you don't do what we tell you, we're going to put you back in there or we're going to kill you or we're going to whatever they're going to do. You know, these people are under threat. I told you. So I told you, the gang stalker people become gang stalker people because they get tricked into it. They get manipulated into it. They get forced into it. They get enticed into it too, you know. They see the other gang stalker people. Wow, that person, he got a lot of crack and he got a lot of money and shit. He got a nice car and whatever. I want to be like him, you know. And then they end up in the same predicament. So you got ambulance people and police people bringing people to these places. I told you to stop bringing the people there and let them go. So how is the ambulance people and you police? Well, your redemption police is what I said, but the ambulance people, and then don't forget, you got hybrids riding around with ambulance people and involved in the harvesting of organs. You know, because there's no death. So the ambulance people know how to bring people back to life, but they just, they intentionally kill them or don't let them come back to life or whatever so they could harvest their organs, you know, or whatever they're doing. They already even admitted to that. The hybrids admitted to riding around in ambulances. They already admitted to it. They came out and admitted it, so it's not a secret. All right? So how's the ambulance people going to achieve redemption? Well, first of all, they're going to stop taking the people there. Second of all, they're going to stop harvesting organs and working with the hybrids. You know, and then third of all, well, they could help, you know, you guys do a 180 there and start fucking rounding these hybrid people up and putting them in the FEMA camps. The churches need to be shut down immediately. All the people running the churches are hybrids. They need to be put in the FEMA camps. The schools need to be run, uh, shut down immediately. All the people that run the schools are hybrids. They need to be put in the FEMA camps. Any teacher, any person like that should be put in a FEMA camp immediately. But like I told you, you have to go to the down south locations first and take those people into custody and uh, interrogate those people and find out exactly what's going on up north first. Otherwise, you might be made a fool of. Okay, So you don't want to be made a fool of. So you know, don't let them make a fool out of you. You have to go there. See what's going on there first, you know, interrogate those people, All right? So, boom, there's re redemption for ambulance people. Uh, hospital people, I don't know what to do with these people. You know, you got all these people under the care. And one idea I had was that once the power goes off, that people are not going to be utilizing the hospitals in the same manner, you know, because there's going to be no power. Yes, they have generators, but once the atmospheric lightning starts, those generators are just going to blow up and be no good. And uh, Or someone shoots off an EMP weapon or whatever. Uh, there's going to be all kinds of reasons for those generators to be debilitated, you know. So they're not, they're only going to work for so long, then they're going to be no good either, you know. Obviously, there must be underground hospitals in underground cities and bunkers, obviously, so that maybe those will still work. I don't know. But that's only for elite people. That's not for a regular Joe Slade who lives down the street.
So I don't know. These people that run the hospitals are involved in all kinds of horrible shit. And those people need to be stopped and addressed. And I don't really know what to do about that, you know, because there's a lot of people under their care, you know. And then you got the dentists that are putting chips in people's teeth. That's unacceptable to me. They put one in my tooth. I got one in right now, you know. That's unacceptable, man. That's not cool. So dentist people should be rounded up and put in FEMA camps too. So they stop what they're doing, you know. Because they're not going to stop because they're probably getting all kinds of money. Plus, any any person, any doctor or person that gives someone a pharmaceutical product, they're giving them poison. So you're intentionally trying to debilitate your commi your, your committed transgression against humanity by giving someone poison. Any pharmaceutical product is poison, you know. So that's transgressing. So you deserve to be, you know, really executed. But, uh, you know, there's no I in team. So, you know, before executions, you know, there should be, you know, the, the highest authorities should have a say in what is going to occur to these people. You know, yeah, I'm the highest authority. I could dictate, yeah, execute the motherfuckers, of course, but. That's not, you know, uh, that's not what I want to do, you know. I want to try to avoid as much bloodshed as possible. Okay, so police people, you got your redemption. Ambulance people, you got your redemption. Hospital people, I'm not sure what to do. Doctor, uh, dentist people need to be dealt with. Churches need to be closed immediately. Those people need to be rounded up. Now, the the church people, if they want redemption, uh, they're going to have to uh, close down the churches or go in there and start repeating all the incantations backwards and singing all the songs backwards to uh, wipe out the grid that imprisons us, okay? They want to do that. That's redemption, but they're not going to do that because their so minds are so twisted and demented and deranged that they're not going to do that, you know? So churches need to be closed so people need to round it up. Schools know what to do. Schools. How would school people achieve redemption? Well, who's ever involved with kidnapping the children, uh, you know, it needs to stop, obviously, and uh, they need to admit what they've done and say, well, yeah, you know, we did this, whatever, and we're going to give your, get your children back, you know, if it's possible, because I believe a lot of them are being held hostage so the ra interdimensional races can have a safe escape, you know. But maybe not, maybe they just ate them, you know, I don't know. We know, you know, some races eat us. Well, we eat us too. If you, if you go to McDonald's and eat a cheeseburger, well, you're a cannibal. Every time you burn a candle because it's made from rendered human fat, you're committing human sacrifice. Every time you burn a candle, that's human sacrifice. You know, unless it's beeswax candle, but you know, those are expensive. People don't use those. As far as the slaughterhouse people go, I don't know how those people could possibly achieve redemption. Those people have committed such horrible transgression against humanity that I don't know, you know. Those people are in big trouble. Anybody who has anything to do with a slaughterhouse or the slaughtering of cows or pigs or chickens or anything like that, those people are in big trouble, you know. Big trouble. <clears throat> well, so what's going to be the result if everybody disregards me and continues doing what they're doing? Well, what's going to happen is you're going to get eaten by an 18 foot uh, reptilian who's going to come and eat you like fried chicken. That's what's going to happen to you. Or the denizens are going to get to you, which are like big, are like actual pig people that are going to come and uh, rip you to shreds. You know? So that's what's going to happen to you. And then, of course, the allies could just come and blow you into oblivion too when they come. But they, they, they're they not going to come until 
we enter the dark rift in the winter triangle because they'll create a double of themselves so they can't come into the program. They could, but then they got to fight themselves, you know, so they don't want to do that. Plus, we hire these observer races to do a job, you know. That's why we hired the observer races because they're already in the program. They already dealt with their doubles already or whatever. And that's why it's established that way. You know, what's the reason? So basically, these are reasonable expectations. What's the you know, what's the reasonable expectation? All you get, the people gotta do is admit what they did. Uh, and then stop what they're doing and try to uh, change the situation for the better. Okay? That's it. You know. That's it. As far as the media goes, they're in big trouble. But uh, if the media wants redemption, this is what the media has to do. Okay? The media has to come out and tell the people, well... Uh, we are under this threat. Uh, this race told us that if we don't lie to you and show you and confuse you and manipulate and not tell you the truth about a lot of stuff, that they're going to come out and eat us alive and they're going to eat you alive. And so we've been forced to do this and tell you all these lies and everything. You know. So that's how they got to come out and say that. And then they got to say, well, from now on, we're going to tell you, we're going to tell you the truth. Okay, this, th this is what they got to say. They say, okay, this is a geograph, this is the geographical, geographical parameters of this ring, okay? If you live in this, if you live in this ring, geographical parameters of this frequency, then this is what is occurring in there, okay? So, and then this is the daily differential and... You know, you don't got to tell the people that you got to learn how to read the gas prices and the weather reports and all this shit that how the elite read the differential now because you're just going to tell the people the truth, you know. So there's no reason to teach them all that. You know? But uh, just tell them, this is geographical parameters. This frequency, you exist in this frequency. This is what's occurring in this frequency. This is uh, this is another ring. If you live in these this ring, this is what's occurring there. Okay, uh, this news, uh, you know, that uh, the news that we showed you last week was from another age. It was from a thousand years ago. Or the news that we show, you know, this news that we told you before is incorrect because that's happening in another frequency or another planet or, you know. As long as they come out and start telling the people that, then there's their, that's their redemption, you know. And then they'll be fine. They'll be, you know, be straight. So that's the media's redemption right there. If they don't do that, then if these people keep continuing what they're doing, the churches stay open, the schools stay open, all this just keeps continuing on, uh, they're going to get eaten by reptilians. And they're going to uh, get ripped to shreds by the denizens or blown into oblivion by the allies. And that's what's going to happen to them eventually. That's what's going to happen to them. And if they, before that, even that happens, they're going to get put in FEMA camps because Donald Trump and Obama and these people are aware of all this shit now. And I don't believe they're going to let it continue. They're not going to let it continue. You know? I don't expect them to let the, all this nonsense continue. So I, I can foresee very soon uh, these people are going to start getting rounded up the you know, churches will be closed, schools will be closed. Or mainstream media has got to come out and tell the people the truth or they got to be shut down too, you know. Because all they're doing is just confusing the people and giving them misinformation and, you know, it's to facilitate agendas of whoever. That's, this is unacceptable. It's unacceptable, you know. It's not acceptable to me. All right, we'll leave it at that. So there's some avenues of redemption. I, there are reasonable avenues of redemption. You know, you got to capitalize on these avenues of redemption before, you know, like I said, you, 
you're avoiding by not capitalizing on them, you're avoiding responsibility. And what happens to a drug addict? Well, his lights get shut off, his gas gets shut off, and so you're gonna end up in a bad situation if you don't start doing the right thing. You know? All right. Well, we'll leave it at that. So everybody, take care. Yeah. See you later.